Hello, YouTube people. Soft Otaku. Hisashi Booty. Long time no see. Uh, coming at you with another quick and dirty video. I put one up, I don't know, maybe two weeks ago or maybe a week ago, and I decided I hated it, so I took it down. So maybe I'll try making that one again. After I find my iPod. No, 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 no. Not my iPod. This is my iPod. My... Wait for it. Uh, tripod. That's funny. I wanted to say tripod, but I said iPod. It might be time for me to move back to an English-speaking country. But I digress. Okay, these two games are two of nine that came from Cyanide Breath Mints. Uh, I'll eventually get around to posting his stuff uh, on the link. Not that he needs it, because he has lots of subscribers, but it's it's only right. So, just to, I really want this to be quick. I started uh, the video, and then the doorbell rang, and it... It was a delivery, and it was this really ugly brown bag with a box in it. And I honestly don't remember, or I'm not sure what it is. It could be something really awesome, or just something pretty awesome. Uh, but this video is for these games. So, yeah, I traded, uh, you can see in his video, and I'll, I'll post the link eventually. Um, I, I sent him a bunch of shmups, a um, bunch of PS2 shmups. I think a PS1 shmup and another one that uh, he has yet to put the video up for. Uh, I don't want to ruin the surprise, so anyway, another one. Anyway, so, and I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this, but uh, it's ironic. I'm living in Japan, and I had a dude who's in New Zealand send me two Japanese games. Actually, more than two, but these are the first two. So, here we go. Just quick and, quick and dirty, like I said. Galaxy Force 2. There it is. Uh-huh. Yep, Japanese. And I actually have not played this one yet. Um, I thought I didn't like 3D shooters, and I definitely prefer the 2D ones. But then I remembered that Star Fox on the N64 is one of my favorite games, so I have to give it a chance. This one I played for, I don't know, probably 45 minutes or so last night, Burning Force. And uh, I really enjoyed it, actually. I was surprised. So... Um, it's kind of an ongoing dilemma for me whether, like, there are some games that are borderline. I have kind of a shmup shrine that someday I might show you. Uh, but these 3D ones and the, some of the ones that you kind of run around and shoot, I, I don't know. It's hard for me sometimes to define what a shmup is, but uh, anyway, I'm happy to have these. I don't have very many Mega Drive or Genesis games because I, I literally just started collecting for it, I don't know, a few months ago. Uh, and I'm always happy to have them in the case. So, yeah, that's that's two. Here's uh, what's next. I don't know. There's no order, so let's just go for it. Okay, bam. This is a shiny. Uh, this is Granada, and it's a tank, and it goes around and it shoots stuff. And again, this is a Japanese game being sent back to me in Japan from New Zealand, but yeah, that's all right. Um... I'm not going to bust it out and show the manuals, am I? I don't know. Let me just do each game, and we'll see. This video, always my videos go longer than I want them to. And yeah. Next, Arrow Flash. This is a PAL Mega Drive game. Um, gosh, that shiny, shiny light. Uh, there we go. And it's got various European languages on the back, which is all fun and exciting. Uh, one of the earlier shooters for the Mega Drive and Genesis. Um, next, <laughs> not Atomic Robo Cocknose, as it's been referred to, but Atomic Robo Kid, uh, with just really, really piss-poor cover art, which, I don't know, it's almost charming in its own right. Uh, this is the American version, <laughs> I'm sad to say. Uh, not really sad, it's just leave it to the Americans. I can say that because I'm American. Um, not that that would stop me anyway, but yeah. So there it is, another shooter. It's kind of hard. The first Last night was the first time I really played it, and it, it takes a while to kind of get the hang of it. And here's one that, this is the most pleasant surprise probably of the lot. I thought, just basically because this is called Task Force Harrier EX, I thought Super Harrier, or I don't know. I was sure this was a 3D game. And it turns out that it's actually a, a scrolling 2D shooter. Um, and what's funny about it, if you look on the back, it's very colorful. Yeah, but actually when you play it, it's not. Uh, it's got a lot of white and gray. And But it's a good game. I want to give it some more time. Uh, another Genesis version. 
And the beauty of all this is we've got Genesis, PAL Mega Drive, Japanese Mega Drive, and they all play, no problem, on the on the Mega Drive I put in my earlier video, the gut shot, Mega Drive gut shot video that I bought for like $10, so I'm pretty pleased about that. Okay, three more that aren't really shmups at all. Uh, this is kind of a run and gun. Um, sorry about the shiny, shiny light. Midnight Resistance. Nice. I kind of like having a mishmash of Genesis and PAL Mega Drive and Japanese Mega Drive games because I don't have any intentions of getting like any kind of complete set of anything except maybe the shmups. But it's nice to have the odd, odd game from different regions. Um, okay, and then the last two are... Maybe, I don't know, I didn't pay attention to what they're worth or whatever, but they're maybe more rare. Uh, maybe Cyanide Breathmints can tell us in the comments. I'm too lazy to go around and look it up. But I hadn't heard of these, and I'm happy to have them. These are both PAL Mega Drive games. This first one is called Second Samurai. And I played it a bit last night. It's dang hard. And the enemies are constantly coming at you. Even though you go from left to right, it's a, it's a side-scrolling platformer, I guess you'd call it. But they just are constantly coming at you, and it's kind of like annoying, but I guess in a good way once you learn how to play the game. And so there's those eight, and then one more, and that is this one. This is the only one that sadly didn't have the manual, but this game, for I guess reasons of rarity, demand, uh, it was a late release, as well as um, Second Samurai, they're both released about the same time, I think 94, um, by the same company as well, Cygnosis I think it is. Anyway, really pretty game. Apparently this came out on the Sega CD uh, in, in uh, other regions, but maybe the cartridge was only PAL. I'm not really sure on that stuff. Feel free to correct me in the comments. Um, but even just in looking at it, you can see the graphics are pretty amazing for a Mega Drive game. Really colorful. Um, and I just had a quick quick play with this one, and uh, uh, it's gonna. I'm going to have to put some time into this one, but... Really nice little game and kind of collectible and hard to find, a bit valuable, so thanks for that one. Uh, that was pretty cool. So, yeah, uh, no manual to show you there. Um, am I going to try to do this, really? No, I'm not. This is a PAL game. You already know the manual's not going to be sweet, right? So, right. This is an American game, so manual, probably... Not probably. It's, you know, they're all just, they're black and white, and it's, I'm happy to have them, so we got the manuals, but I just, I don't know, I feel like it's not worth it to show you a black and white manual. Another, huh? Yeah, PAL game, goodbye. But these ones are, wait for it, hold on, I say wait for it too much. Yep, not Japanese, no manual getting displayed there. Mm, okay, Granada gets to have the manual displayed if I can do everything with one hand. Seriously, the person who told me to get a tripod, you're so right. Okay, here it comes. Manual. Oh, colors. Can I do everything with one hand? I don't know. But why is this video eight minutes long? The thing is, the only way to solve it is to talk faster or say less. And I don't like either of those options very much. Arr! Right, so... That was the manual. And if anybody is wondering what this music is, I don't know. I think it's from some video game, and it's like a, maybe a PS1 game, and I put it in my PS3, and it came up with the option to copy it, and I said, oh, okay, that might be interesting. But I didn't label it, so it just says track whatever. I have no idea what this music is. I'm sorry. Okay, and with that... um. <laughs> Uh, maybe I'm just trying to make Ben look good, because this is, like, seriously not a high-quality video. But I just wanted to throw this out there. This is what we traded, and I'm happy with it for the most part. I think I've I've got a little bit of credit on, on his side, and uh, we're, you know, talking about some other stuff. But it doesn't really matter. I'm happy with it. Good, good guy. Um, been enjoying his videos a lot, and uh, I'll, I'll post this stuff in the bottom. But, um... Anyway, so that's that. It's fun to trade with people that are, you know, good people. So that's that. Love you, bye.